Hello, it's the Ginger Man here and welcome to my Christmas special. It's Christmas Eve and I thought, I'm going to make a Christmas special, what can I do? And I thought really long and hard about this and I really wanted to come to Tents Muir in Fife. So first of all, I'm back where it all began, I'm back in Fife. I've not been here doing a filming thing in a while. And I'm in Tents Muir, well I'm not actually in Tents Muir, I'm near Tents Muir. And I want to camp but it's been snowing, because it's Christmas. I've invited my pal Sheen along, we're car camping, we've got decorations, we've got Christmas food and it's going to be a blast and hopefully we can get tents here in the morning. So, Ginger Man, Christmas special, show me what you got. Peace. It's Christmas, uh, we don't have access to a cooker, so we have to be creative for Christmas dinner. So, mm. Christmas Chris, well, seasonal edition, chilli and honey glazed ham and flavour. Uh, so, that's going to be a treat, need that. Uh, we've got a Christmas movie going on as well on Netflix, because you can just do stuff like that. Well, actually, I've not checked the, the Wi-Fi signal here. Oh, yeah. Fingers crossed. What else we got? Lunchables. Because we've seen ham and cheese, but there were adult version ones, and then I was like, that's just like a Lunchable, but a pound dearer. Uh, not that it was being tight, just Lunchables are better. Cheese so... boards are adult, or Lunchables. Hey, oh, got selection box. This is my one, filled with festive fun. Um, so that's there, that's because it's Christmas. We've got one each, actually. Because it's Christmas, so should have picked Milky Way Universe. I'm probably going to do some swapsies because I think I've got two smarties. Anyway, I digress. What else have we got? Oh, we've got sandwiches. I forgot because I'm really hungry. I've not eaten yet. It's all had. I saved my eating for being here. So Sheena went for a mozzarella tomato and basil pesto. Festive. I like it. I just. I've gone for a very boring and builder's sandwich of ham and cheese. Classic. You can't go wrong with it. Right. We've got more crisps. They came part of the meal deal. 
So there they are. What else we got? Oh, cocktail sausages. I don't know what you're thinking. You guys, you guys have got enough food there for a Christmas party. And that's what we're doing. It's the Ginger Man Christmas party. Enough. More Lunchables, because, you know, yeah. And some of this could be breakfast and some dessert, just in case, but we didn't bring spoons, now that I think about it. Where are the spoons here? We have to keep these. These are chocolate brownie goos, though. These look incredible. We could make spoons out of something. Right, that's that. So, Shana's currently sorting out the decorations. Also got sorted dinner. So, here we are, doing Christmas stuff. Um, <laughs> Shana's putting the lights the up. Background. Pardon? Am I in the background? Shana, you're in the background, you're in the Christmas video, you're making, you're the decorator. Um, I'm feeling really festive, as, as I say. Here's the thing, I chose to put it on Christmas Eve, because that's my favourite day of the festive time. It's like the, the build-up, the excitement, the anticipation. I think loads of people like Christmas Eve better than Christmas. In some places, Christmas Eve is Christmas. I'm, I'm excited to eat, because I'm really hungry. I don't know what to start first, but like... Decorations you know, first. I, I decoration. I'm particular as well. I like things done first before I can. We have schlur. That's our wine. We have wine schlur, schlur wine, and we have cups as well, which we we got from. We got cups from. We got cups from Starbucks because we didn't have cups. Nice, nice girls in Starbucks. Oh, that's my job. I'm working. Oh, that's yours. Where's this gone? Just from that. Yeah, kind of the same as Eh? Wait, wait, wait. This is like, you know, when you were young. You yeah, and then like rounds. This is like a high tech tent. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. No, it's this okay. Is just, uh, this is all part This is important. This is important. Yeah. I could just see that bit dangling. Yeah, that's perfect. So it's dangling down. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, you've got to turn it on. Yes, you know. We have fuel lights. I don't need to worry about the car lights. And turn the engine off. Get that. Keys are off and we've got legit light. I brought curtains as well, but I don't think we need them because we found a really good spot. Because the hardest part about car camping in this day and age is so many people do this stuff now, so you know you have to you have to avoid places that say don't camp here, but I won't really dox this spot too much, but oh it's because that light went out. The, oh. Your lights are fine, it was that one going out, look. All right. Yeah, it went out, so it sort of changed the... Just a bit of panic there. This is amazing. I feel festive. I feel like I'm going to cry. <laughs> Good. It's a Christmas movie. So, hello. Spooky. Right, so, this is where we've parked up. We've found this bridge. And I'm there. Look at this. Look at this. From Puffers to Butterflies. In 1848. The first... Hold on. How exciting is this? We're out in the middle of Tentsmuir Forest area, right on the tip of Fife, and I'm reading a sign in the middle of nowhere. It's exciting. Are you excited? <laughs> Sorry. Right, back to it. In 1848, the first steam train puffed its way along the newly opened railway line, which ran through here. You can still see the old railway bridge on your left. This stretch, originally from Burnt Island to Cooper, was eventually extended to Ferryport on Craig, now modern-day Tayport. From there, passengers could take a ferry across the river. Tay or from there, passengers could take a ferry across the river Tay for onward connections to Dundee. Over time, the importance of this railway line waned as more direct routes to the north were built. And in 1959, the railway eventually closed. So they're saying this is like the original steam trains coming along here, the first ever ones in the world. I mean, this bridge is cool. That's amazing, the first ever steam trains in the world went over this here rickety old forgotten bridge in the middle of Tentsmuir Forest. Let's take a second, Burnt Island to Cooper, all these places that I've visited throughout Fife, and here we are back in Fife. And it's interesting I'm here at Christmas because, you know, I don't envisage doing many more episodes in Fife this next year, so it's kind of a, a sort of significant moment to be here. And when I'd done the Five Coast, Tents Muir was one of my favourite spots. Absolutely. Right. And I'm always meant to come back. And why not do a Christmas special? Because it's special. <laughs> oh, I've got my new gloves on. You can see them in the light. Look. I've got mittens. 
There's a map showing you where we are and everything. Look, everything's here. Morton Locks, Fetterdale Link. So where are we? We're there. This is fun, we've got a map showing us and then there's the nature reserve just there, which is where we're going to go in the morning. There's a meteorological station here. There's the... Oh, this is fun, I cannot wait. And look, there's the five coastal path right there. Right, come back in because... We're going to finish the film and eat some more crisps and it's cold out and the ground's slippery and wet. Look, who's this? Look at that, it's minus one. It's five to six. And Shuna's set up. It was my set up. <laughs> uh, not going to lie, it was cold last night. I woke up for a pee in the night. Uh, that was horrible. But... It was also an adventure and exciting. We fell asleep watching a film and it was really it's got really it got really dark and sleepy. But anyway, it's five to six, we're gonna go and grab a coffee because it's cold. Uh, I had to put the heating on and put the oh I, the heat seaters on. Put the heat seaters on and everything was okay, right? <laughs> everything was fine. Uh, so I'm just gonna chuck some of these covers in the back. We're gonna go into Tapeport. That's my favourite time of the day, 555. Five, five. Okay, so look at this. There's a horse, there's a sunrise. And I'm at Tent Smear. Right, so I might go and say hi to this horse first because he looks like a nice guy. And it's first thing in the morning, and he doesn't want to see a horse first thing in the morning. Like, that's content. The horse's bite. He looks like he wants petted. Hello. Well, he wants food. Sometimes you've got to travel to get the Christmas special treats like and this is a Christmas special at Tents Muir and as I say this place is sacred in my ginger man spirit and memories because of the memories I have camping out it was my first time solo camping on my own in the woods it was a big part of actually it was my first part walking the Five Coast on my, my own um, and I was just I stumbled across Tents Muir that surprisingly I'd never heard of before uh, oh look, they've installed the fancy pay barrier now from last time. But two quid, I have two quid too, but it's not open because of the conditions and the snow and the ice. So yeah, we've got a park at yonder. You know, right, it's quite icy, slippery icy conditions. Look at this. It's a Sondico yellow ball in the middle of Tents Muir. Now, is this a Christmas present from Santa? <laughs> um, well, how many keepy uppies can I do? It's Christmas, I've got my boots on, right? So don't judge me. What are you guessing? In the ice, I'm gonna guess six. Six, oh, that's a good guess. Six though. when you get a goal. Yeah. Cut. What? Right, I've got to hit something now, the 20 sound. This wait, 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 they're trying to sign for reference. Here we go. Oh, that's a good one. If it wasn't for the snow on the ground, it would look really exotic with that sky. You're like, are they in Barbados? Now, this is Tent Smear. And it is pure. This is unreal. Like the snow's adding to it, and it's just icy snow. I'm still glad there's actually quite a bit here, but it's because there's not loads of people here. Oh, yeah. Let's try to find the entrance to the beach. That sunrise coming up, we're just about to catch it. 
Every time I come to Tent Muir, it's just the best. But when I came here last time, it was actually quite a crappy, cloudy morning, so and it'd been raining. So this is even better. Ah, the sun always rises in the east. That way to China. So the other camera died. So Sheena has become the cameraman now. Thanks, Sheena. Uh, so we're going to fly the drone up because this beach is a snowy paradise. Uh, it's pretty cool, huh? Do you want to hear some quackers facts? I'm saying quackers because it says it's quackers, but I'm pointing to it with my mittens. But this is cool. Most human visitors come here in the summer, but for many birds, winter is prime time to visit. Like a ginger bird, like me. Thousands of pink-footed geese spend the winter here, having spent the summer breeding in the Arctic. Over 4,000 eider ducks gather here between October and March. Listen for their distinctive Ooh, er, calls. Ah, ah. Come here. <sighs> Horse, head. Yes. This one's nice. This is my favourite one. It's really nice. Pirate's like neck. Hello. They want food, don't they? They don't want petty. Nah.
Um, this is a Christmas special, not a rerun of the Fife Coast, but I've come to Tayport. No, Newport. Newport. I'm in Newport on Tay. Um, oh, bugger. I'm falling over. That's a blooper. Right, aye, so it's all happening here. In Newport, looking for a coffee. Newport on Tay, not Newport in Wales. Do you know where to get a coffee? Deck in. Right, Mana looks good. It looks, it looks closed. No, it's open. Mana's open. I thought that was Mana, but Mana's there. They've got coffee, and I'm hoping for some sort of like sausage or roll or something with egg. Got a coffee from Mana's, and we went to Stewart's at the Scotland. Because after Christmas dinner, this is like Boxing Day now technically. In this episode, this is the Boxing Day of this episode. And we were going to eat our Christmas dinner sandwiches, but we thought they're probably freezing in the car, so Manas only had soup, but they didn't have soup. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! You'd think it was a different day. Uh, we got in the car, started drove to St Andrews, had a roll, uh, kind of forgot to film some bits. Um, but I'll film it with all the extra footage. All the, I'll fill it with all the extra footage and overlap some beautiful music, so I'll just skip to this bit. Um, so we're driving down and I stopped off in Thornton. I don't know why Thornton, um, but the weather changed and there wasn't really much to see everywhere. And aye, it's been nice kind of driving along down the Five Coast today, really bringing back lots of good memories of doing the Five Coast, um, which was, I guess, as I say, two years ago now and a big part of the Ginger Man journey and where I began, which was Fife, and the Fife Coast was my big excited moment. But anyway, that's not anything to do with Christmas. Um, so aye, Christmas, a great time for family, being with people, and just being in the moment. What I realise about Christmas as I get older is, it's not really about repeating what you've done the year before, or trying for it, you know, everyone says it doesn't feel like Christmas, well it never feels like Christmas until it's Christmas, that's what I mean until it's actually Christmas and Christmas Eve, you're excited but it never feels like Christmas until it's Christmas although this year, I've felt a lot more festive and Christmassy than I have in a while so, I don't know take as, take of that as you will so anyway, I'm going to go because um, I'm pretty tired didn't get much sleep, I was freezing cold last night and I woke up chittering needed a pee um, and there was all manner of dilemmas on, in that sense when you're freezing, chittering cold but I got through it and it was worth it because the sunrise was incredible so aye, enjoy it, Merry Christmas, peace <laughs>